Looking to play a Beast Mastery Hunter? You've come to the right place, Pew. because in this video, I'm going to be Pew. showing you how to play one in patch 10.2 in just 5 minutes or less. We'll cover your stats, talents, your rotation, crafted gear and embellishments, best in slot, and of course, the consumables that you're going to need in order to play the spec at a competitive level. So with that being said, let's jump into it. Beast Mastery has gotten a few changes in patch 10.2. We've gotten some talent tree changes with abilities getting reduced points, as well as others getting redesigned. We also got a semi raid buff, as well as a pretty good DPS cooldown. So all in all, BM is in a really good spot. While not perfect, I think they're a fantastic choice to pick up for season three. When it comes to stats, there isn't really a correct answer here. We don't really have generic stat weights to follow anymore. These days, the best way to determine if an item is an actual upgrade for you or not is to sim your character. If you guys don't know how to sim yourself, I've made an in-depth video that goes over how to do it right here. And a good rule of thumb here is that you guys should always be simming your character all the time. That's the best way to figure out, you know, what's going to be a good upgrade for you or not. For our talent tree, there is a lot to go over here and sadly, we don't have enough time to cover everything and explain why we pick certain talents. So for a more in-depth look and these kind of things, I highly recommend you check out the written class guides for BM Hunter over on Wowhead. For now, I'm going to just explain what builds to use. What talent tree you choose to use is going to depend on if you guys have the new four piece of the new tier set or not. So let's first take a look at what build you guys should be using if you do not have the new four piece. For single target, I would use this build. For AOE in raids, use this one. And then for Mythic Plus, use this build. Keep in mind that the code for importing these builds is going to be in the description for the video. And then once you've gotten the new four piece from the new tier set, you're going to be using this build for single target. And then for AOE and rating, use this one. And then lastly, for Mythic Plus, you'll be using this build. The reason we change our build for our four piece is because the new tier set is just all about summoning dire beasts and just playing along that fantasy. If you read the passive, it says every five dire beast summons, resets the cooldown of kill command, and reduces the focus cost of, and cooldown of kill command by 50% for 8 seconds. So with this new build, you're going to just be spamming out kill commands and it's going to be a ton of damage. The BM Hunter rotation is all about maintaining 3 stacks of frenzy on the target via barb shot. After that, you're making sure to pop your cooldowns, stay uncapped on focus, as well as making sure that you never hit 2 stacks of kill command. So let's take a look and see what that's like. So for your single target opener, before the pull starts, you're going to want to cast Hunter's Mark on your main target. After that, you're going to cast Barb Shot twice, Call of the Wild, Kill Command, Bloodshed, Bestial Wrath, use whatever racial abilities you have, use Barb Shot, Death Chakram, Kill Command, Kill Command again, and then follow your normal rotation, which will look like this. You'll cast Barb Shot in order to maintain Frenzy if it has less than 1.5 seconds remaining, or if Frenzy has fewer than 3 stacks and Bestial Wrath and or Call of the Wild is coming off cooldown. You will use Kill Command if you're close to or have two charges, cast Call of the Wild, Bloodshed, Bestial Wrath, Death Chakram, Kill Command, Barb Shot, Dire Beast if specced into it, Kill Command if your target is below 20% health, and then Cobra Shot as a filler. For your AoE rotation, things do not really change that much. You're still trying to maintain Frenzy and do your rotation, but now for AoE, you're adding Multi Shot into your rotation. Using Multishot will give you the buff Beast Cleave for 3 seconds, which is going to allow your pet to do AoE damage. So all you have to do is just do your normal rotation, and then just weave Multishots in there every 3 seconds. And now on to gear. What you're looking at here is your absolute best in slot for BM Hunter. This incorporates gear from the Raid, Mythic Plus, and Craft Gear. Generally, you always want to equip something if it's a higher item level, but if you guys are looking to find your absolute best in slot, then follow this chart. And then I really wanted to highlight the best embellishments that you guys should be using for your crafted gear. So from best to worst, in my opinion, we start with the adaptive Drakenthist arm guards. Those are the wrists. And then blue silken lining. And then the allied leg guards of Sansat Khan. And again, if you're going to follow the best in slot list, then just go with the arm guards and the legs. Okay, moving on to consumables and enchants. So here's a list of what you guys should be using as a beast mastery hunter. When it comes to what pet to use as a Beast Mastery Hunter, you want to be using a Spirit Beast. Not only will they give you the Spirit Man ability, which is a nice little heal that you can use every 30 seconds, but you're also going to be getting Fortitude of the Bear, which is a very strong defensive ability. Just make sure that you always have a backup Ferocity pet on you at all times, so that way you can provide Bloodlust to any groups in your party if you guys do not have one. Lastly, create these macros and replace your abilities with them. What this will do is force your pet to always use their abilities whenever they are up. 
For some reason, there is a slight delay as to when your pets actually cast their attacks by like 0.3 seconds, so baking their spells into your buttons will make them more responsive and give you a slight DPS gain. And that's where we're going to wrap up things for today. If you guys got something out of this video, let me know by leaving a like, and if you're new here, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. That way you guys will always know when my latest videos go live. Again, thanks for watching this video. I'm still Solo, and I'll see you guys in the next one.